Hello there. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this specific training, I want to continue our Salesforce integration training. And another quick reminder, this is part of a series of training videos. If you've not been watching these in order, if you haven't been watching the other videos, please go back to the beginning of this series and make sure that you watch all of these videos in order because they do build on each other. Now, I want to talk to you about another integration setting. You may have noticed it if you've watched the other videos. When we went to the Salesforce integration page in the back office of PhoneBurner, and as a reminder, how do you get here? You click on your initials in the upper right hand corner, go down to integration settings, and then you go to the details for the Salesforce integration. That'll bring you right back here to where we're at. I want to talk to you about the API and user keys here on the integration page. What are they used for? Well, first and foremost, I want to tell you they do not affect you being able to make calls from Salesforce. They're an optional item that allow you to access your voicemail messages, record voicemails, and view your dial session history all within the Salesforce UI. What do I mean? Let's jump back over to Salesforce and let's go to the phone burner app. I'm going to go to the lightning version. Once here, you'll notice a couple tabs. One is called voicemail recordings and the other one is dial session history. What you'll notice is when you first install the app and you go to these tabs, you're just going to see these instructions. And the reason why you're going to see these instructions is because you have not taken advantage of your API key and user key. Again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. These are just additional tabs within your Salesforce UI. So let's go ahead and follow the instructions and get this turned on so you can see exactly what this means. So I'm going to click on my personal settings. And in the quick find, I'm going to go ahead and type in authentication. And I'm going to click on authentication settings for external systems. From here, I'm going to add a new option. So I'm going to click on new. This is a new named credential. I'm going to use the phone burner name credentials. And of course, I have to define the specific user that I'm configuring this for. In this case, I'm going to uh, find myself. I'm the only one. And I'm going to use password authentication. Now I'm going to jump back over to phone burner. I'm going to grab my username, which is the user key and my password, which is my API key. Once I put those in, I'm going to go ahead and save. And now I've added authentication or name credentials for my specific phone burner account. So now if I go to the voicemail recordings tab, I'll be able to see my voicemail recordings. I'll be able to interact with this. Also, if I go to the dial session history tab, I'll be able to see all of the dial sessions that I've done for any specific month without having to go to phoneburner.com and sign in. Again, as a reminder, adding your API key and user key to Salesforce is completely optional. It's designed to bring a little bit more of the information from PhoneBurner into the Salesforce UI, making it that much easier for you to take advantage of the PhoneBurner system. So anyway, I hope this helps you and your team get more done using the power of PhoneBurner. Thanks again and happy dialing.